Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan Richardson and I am a birth doula and childbirth educator based in my wonderful city of Brooklyn, New York. I'm also the director-elect of the New York City Doula Collective. I want to start off the second video of mine by saying thank you to all of you who watched my first video, who emailed me, who called me, ah, you guys are so sweet, who sent me amazing Instagram and Facebook and Twitter comments. Um, I really can't, couldn't do this without your support. So thank you. Also thank you to those who've given me recommendations for lighting and cameras and all of that good stuff. Hopefully you can see a difference in this video. Um, still learning, so continue to send on over suggestions and recommendations to me. So, in my first video, I talked about five things to avoid saying to a queer family who is trying to conceive. I got some really incredible feedback from that video, one of which was, well, what are five positive things that we can say or do to our queer families and friends and coworkers who are trying to conceive, right? So I thought long and hard about that. I thought, oh, is that gonna be my second video? And I decided, yes, I wanted to make it the follow-up video. In fact, I filmed it. I filmed it twice. I did not like the way that it looked. Uh, the third time that I filmed it, I loved the way that it looked and then it got deleted. So, learning process. So here I am again for the fourth time filming this video for all of you, answering that question, what are five positive things that you can say or do to a queer family who's trying to conceive? So I think, you know, the reality is queer conception just isn't something that is really understood or really spoken about in the birth community, amongst friends and family members, right? It's kind of hidden in secret. And so a lot of times queer families get asked questions such as, you know, how are you planning to ma on making this baby? Right? Which seems like an honest question, but you probably wouldn't ask your straight friends that. So my initial response to that, what are five positive things that I can say or do uh, when a queer family tells me that they're trying to conceive, is just think about what would you want someone to say to you if you suddenly told them, hey, I'm thinking about trying to have a baby or we're trying to have a baby. Some things as simple as, yay, congratulations, goes a long way. Uh, or, that's so exciting, you guys are gonna be such incredible parents. Or, I know that this journey can be really exciting and also sometimes difficult. Uh, so reach out to me if you need anything. Right? So something just as simple of, as that I think can be a really positive thing to say or do to anyone who tells you that they're trying to conceive. That being said, I know that many of you have want like specific tangible things that you can do. I don't know if I have specific tangible things that you can do, but I do have five things that I've thought about um, that hopefully can help you have a conversation with the people around you when they do tell you that they're trying to conceive. And I'm going to use a little cheat sheet here so that I remember um, everything that I came up with because I had plenty of thoughts. Um, but number one was be a good listener, right? Listen. So listen and hear what people are saying to you. Create room for people to share as much or as little information as they want to. I think a lot of times in our society, we have a tendency to listen and then talk and share our own stories and our own experiences, but there's something really powerful about just having someone in your life who you can share things with and not get any feedback from, negative or positive, right? Just having someone that you can kind of regurgitate all of this information to. Um, and so that's, that's, I think, a huge one. And so thus, that's my number one, is listen to what people are saying to you, listen to their stories, respect how much they wanna share with you. So number two is be honest about what you know and what you don't know. So if you don't know, do your own research, right? So it's not your friends or your family members job to teach you all about queer conception and childbirth and parenting and pregnancy and all of that good stuff. There isn't a lot, but there is some good information out there around this topic. And so I really do encourage you to pick up a book, look at, watch my YouTube video, 
go to YouTube, right? There are some other wonderful, amazing vlogs and blogs out there with people who are talking about their journey through with conception. Uh, one of them is Queer Mama. I love Queer Mama so much. Um, and I'll actually post down below, down there. Um, I'll post a few different resources so that you can do your own research. So number three is show support and be an ally. And there's really some amazing research out there and amazing workshops out there around allyship and what that means. Um, but I actually wanted to share with you a quote around allyship. And it's a quote from the Anti-Oppression Network. And they say that allyship is not an identity. So allyship is a lifelong process of building relationships based on trust, consistency, and accountability with marginalized individuals and or groups of people. So allyship is not something that we can define for ourselves. Rather, our work and our efforts as allies really must first and foremost be recognized by the people that we seek to ally ourselves with. Right? So allyship is so much about educating ourselves, educating yourself, forming communities, reaching out, asking questions, asking questions in safe spaces, right? Asking questions when it's appropriate to ask questions, and also knowing when to sit back and to really take in information. And I think that's actually really the key of allyship is listening and paying attention. So number three for me is show support, be an ally. Understand that this process for you is going to continue. It's going to be a long journey. You're not going to fully understand what it is, what it is like to be a queer person, and what it's going to be like, or what it is like to be a queer person who is trying to conceive. Right. So number four is be empathetic. Right. Put yourself in someone else's shoes. So understand that. And you probably already understand that this is not an easy process all the time. Sometimes it is. But just imagine what it would be like to have to go through some form of artificial um, reproductive technology, right? Put yourself in someone's shoes and understand. Think about what it might be like to have to pay a lot of money to try to conceive. Think about what it might be like to have family members who aren't necessarily supportive of the way that you have to or want to create your family, right? So be empathetic. Put yourself in someone's shoes is my number four. And my last one, number five, is acknowledge your privilege. It's such a big one, isn't it? Just acknowledge your privilege. Acknowledge the privileges that you have moving through the world, um, and specifically in this situation too. Right? And I think I can probably pretty much leave it at there because I can probably do an entire um, video just on privilege. There are entire classes and books on privilege. Um, so yeah. So I hope that those were helpful to all of you. I know that they're not tangible things that you can necessarily just like do tomorrow. Um, but hopefully those are things to get you thinking about what it means to be an ally, what it means to support this community, what it means to be um, positive, right? Have positive thinking uh, in this space, right? I really, really want to hear what you all have to say. So if you have any ideas about positive things to do or say to for a queer family trying to conceive, please let me know if you have been on the other end, if you've been a recipient of something really great that someone has done when you were in the process of trying to conceive, please share that with me. Put it in the comments below. I really want to hear about it. Um, I am always taking suggestions for videos, so if you have other suggestions of what you want me to do next, please let me know. And until next time, bye. Subscribe, wherever that is. Subscribe. Bye, you guys.